Hello everyone. Today I'm going to answer many of the questions that you've had about how to make a standard log cabin block using one of our log cabin trim tools. This one, this is the block, just standard log cabin, one inch finished strips, two and a half inch or two inch finished square. This is the log cabin trim tool duo that we're going to use. As you can see, you have the option with this particular tool of doing standard log cabins. Here's your three varieties that you could, you could make. Here is a skinny log cabin strips, and here is a combination of wide and skinny. So this tool will let you do all of that, but for today, what we're really going to show you is just the basic log cabin uh, block that we're going to make. Everything you need is right here. You're going to have uh, to cut one and three quarter inch wide strips and your center square that you're going to cut is two and a half inches. So if you forget that, um, you, you've always got that printed right here on the ruler. So let's get started. So our first step is to take that two and a half inch square that we've, we've cut and we're going to sew one of our strips onto one side. Now, each one of these log cabin um, rounds is going to have four logs. So this is your first log. Now we do have a cheat sheet available that shows you how to pre-cut um, the sizes for each of your logs and that is available on the uh, Creative Grids website. So what we're gonna show you here is you're going to add your first log then you're going to come in and you're going to add your second log, your pre-cut log on there. If you're not using pre-cut logs, let's just tell you right now, this could be a full length strip and you would still sew down the side and then trim off your strip. Uh, flip it over and press, okay? You're always going to flip it over and press after each of your steps. So we've added our second log on here. We've pressed it off to the side. Now, pressing can be finger with your fingernail, finger pressing as they call it, or you can use an iron. Then we're always going to rotate our block. You want your logs to go in a clockwise direction. So you just spin your block counterclockwise and add your next log. So we're going to add our next log and we're going to stitch our quarter inch seam and press it open, okay? Once you've pressed that open, again, this is how it was. You added your log, pressed it open. You're going to again rotate counterclockwise and add your strip in a clockwise fashion. So here is your fourth strip. Now, notice we've got two lights and two darks. So what we have here is, what by the time we press this one open, we're then going to have our four logs. This is considered a round, okay? So what you have is two lights, two darks, and that makes your round. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to trim. So I'm looking at this ruler and I'm looking on the standard log cabin, the standard versus the skinny. Okay, that's the difference. This is the standard square and I'm going to line that standard square up right on that center square. As you, as you can see now, the block sticks out to the side a little bit. I'm going to trim off both sides here. Oops. And then I'm going to spin my block around, I'm going to line up my center square again, and trim the other two sides. Now, if you will notice, these lines also will line up on your other seam lines. So you have the ability to line up with more than just the center square. You can line up with many of your other seam lines. Now I'm gonna trim the other two sides as well. So you're, you're pretty much thinking as you're, you're sewing and trimming that you are going to add four logs and trim because now we're gonna to go to round two and you're going to do the same thing. You're gonna add four logs and trim. That is pretty much the basis 
um, that you're going to have for every single round. Here is the round we just sewed and trimmed, okay? Now we're going to start with our next uh, log. Where do you add your next log, you ask? Easy. Always look for the side that has two seams on it, okay? Or three pieces, if you will. Look at these other sides. There's only one seam here. There's only one seam here. There's no seams here. The side you always want to add your first strip to when making a traditional block is the side with two seams. Okay, let's add our light. We're going to stitch down here and then flip it open and press. Here it is, flipped open and pressed. And now we're going to add our next light. Again, going in a clockwise direction. Sew and press open. Here it is, sewn and pressed open. Now it's time to add your dark on this side over here. Rotate, add your strip, sew and press open. All right, so now that you've added your second round of dark, your second, let's not stay and press that open there. Now that you've added your two lights and one of your darks, you're gonna add your second dark. Okay, you're gonna stitch down your, your seam and press open. Once you do that, you're gonna continue with what you've done before. Sew four logs, trim. Now you've added four logs, you're ready to trim. You're not going to start adding another log. So if you if it's helpful for you to lay out four logs, sew all four logs and then trim, that maybe will help you remember. It doesn't matter also if you start trimming from this side or from this side, it doesn't matter. As long as you trim two sides and then go back and trim the other two sides. So we're on round two. Remember, we had one round of logs and the second round of logs. So here we're on round two. So we're going to line up round two on the center square. We're gonna line up our other things and we're going to trim, okay? We're going to spin our block around and trim the other two sides. This will always give you a straight side, a squared up side. It keeps everything in alignment. Many, 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 many customers of Creative Grids will testify to the fact that this just makes log cabin blocks a breeze and they come out so perfect. So here you are with round two completed. Now we're going to go on to round three. You think you know where you start with round three? Of course, it's going to be on the side with with your two seams. So simple, are you ready to go through this? Let's go. Here is your trimmed block. Here, we're going to go with round three, we're gonna add a light and stitch it down. Then we're going to add another light and stitch it down, press it open. We're going to add our two darks Okay, just the same as we did before. And now we're ready to trim round three. Round three is round three on the ruler. So let's line up our seam lines. Let's line up our center square. Now if things don't match exactly, look, this is off air. You have the option of, of turning it just a little bit. You decide how you want it centered. But if you're really off on your lines and it's not lining up a lot, check your quarter inch seam. Adjust your quarter inch seam to be accurate and then it will line up exactly on here when you sew. So let's trim our other two, so our two sides and we're going to spin it around and trim our other two sides. This is so easy and so addictive once you actually get started. Once you actually get going on these, it's so much fun. Okay, 
we are ready for the fourth and final round. So here is round three. Again, we have our, see, you've got your center and then one, two, three. If you leave and you come back and you forget where you are, center, one, two, three, okay? So we're on our fourth round. Here's your two seams. Let's add our light. We're gonna add another light. Let's keep going. Now that we've got our two lights added on here, we rotate our block, we add our dark, press it open, we're going to add another dark, and then here we are with all of our round four logs added and we're ready to trim. Now, here's something we want you to notice because this will make a perfect 10 inch block, okay? So what we're going to do is line up, line up our seams. Now instead of just, but you still can do this, you still can trim two sides, or what you can do is spin your mat, spin your entire block and ruler around, trim on all four sides and you have a perfect 10 inch block. So you know what this means. You can get together with a bunch of your friends using this ruler. Everybody's blocks come out perfect and they all come out the exact same size. So get your friends together, make a, use a bunch of your scraps, make some quilts and then be rest assured that all of your blocks are gonna join together because they're all perfectly the same size. Have fun, show us what you made, and um, look for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch.